Welcome everyone to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS. Today we will going to discuss a very interesting topic over uh, text to SAM deep learning model. How we are going to use to extract or you can say to target feature extraction techniques. How we usually do over in ArcGIS Pro and the new tool which is a SAM is already there. Uh, if you see my previous video I already showed you over how we are going to use the SAM for uh, classification the same tool but there is a new tool which is came that is called text to sam so you can use that tool and it will be very useful it will reduce your work okay uh, i will not say it will give you the 100% uh, accurate but yes uh, 60 to 70% results you will get and uh, rest of the things you can uh, do the manual also uh, to to get a better results so let's see how we're going to do that okay so for that uh, the first things which you have to do is you can go to the Google and come to our Living Atlas CSRI. Okay, and uh, just open this uh, Living Atlas. Okay, to download the DLPK files. Okay, so if you go in a browse. Okay, so here you can simply type text to Sam. Yeah. So this is the uh, email uh, DLPK files which you need to download okay so simply you can click on download so before download you just uh, read about the information which is given over here which one thing is very important that is the input data okay so input data it should be in your 8 bit or 3 <coughs> band rgb data so if you have the satellite image so which is the three bands <coughs> then uh, you can take the three bands and you have to save it in 8 bit okay so that you have to remember otherwise it will not going to work so uh, <coughs> most of the thing uh, if you are using the drone data so then definitely you have to save in this format and you can use this tool which will be perfectly work as of now i don't have <coughs> any any data from this so what i will do i will take help from our base maps okay so to do this extraction technique so let's see some location okay so we have to find some locations which we can use for this particular analysis okay so <coughs> here i am just focusing over the delhi Okay, so if you see the Delhi, we have a good area like this. Okay, some some of the area like this. So I will just search some locations which you, where I can find the the, uh, the the cars and the, the trees. These two things which we will going to target now. Okay, so let's see where we will get this. Tool. Okay, so I found uh, this is the area which will be suitable for my analysis. Okay, if you see here. Uh, I can take uh, this okay so where I can get uh, the trees also and we will get a quite a car also very good so what we'll do uh, if you want to run this uh, because here now the images are surfaces so uh, may the deep learning tool will not work in the surface um, image so what you do you can download the image from here so you can simply come to the map okay and in the download map options okay if you go in the download map options so uh, I will fix uh, this area uh, suppose this is the scale 1 to 500 meter scale i am just taking for the downloading okay for this image so if you want to go for the more higher uh, version scale so you can go that uh, as of now i will take it 1 to 500 meter scale is perfect okay so uh, you can try with uh, 2 1 is to 2 8 3 scale okay so it depends on your results how it is coming okay uh, you can change the scale and try it again and you see the result is coming better or not okay anyway i'll just go with 500 meter scale as of now so simply click on download so it will take a few minutes time to download so let it will be download so that we can go for the next step okay so as you've seen uh, this is the image which is cut out from this okay so if you see this is the uh, this is the image which i am taking out uh, from my base map okay so now uh, this is my base map full image okay so and this is the uh, the image which we just uh, taken out okay downloaded okay from the base map now i will going to run uh, this particular uh, deep learning tool okay so like text to sam deep learning tool i am going to use over the two objects uh, now as of now one is the tree and one i will going to show you the car okay so let's uh, start with the uh, car okay and then i will go with the tree so let's compare the accuracy which will come uh, better okay so for this you require the image analysis tool again under the image analysis you have the deep learning tool just expand that so here you see there is uh, clearly it is mentioned the detect object using the deep learning so just double click on that 
so input raster <coughs> the image which you just simply downloaded so give it that as an input okay now the model definitions so once you will do the model definitions <coughs> so you can give this output <coughs> name first you are going to do with the cars so see cars you can simply give the name as a car and the model definitions which i just gave here you see i already downloaded the text to sam model which i already uh, downloaded from the same sites which i showed you in the form of living atlas platform so select that simply click on okay so uh, once you've done it uh, so let's wait for the results oh, oh sorry sorry not now you have to give the text prompt okay so here first text prompt i am providing as as tree t r t tree okay so now you can go with the non maximum saturation so you can go with the confidence if you want to give the overall uh, lap ratio you can go with the zero also but let's try with 0.5 okay and how, how about is coming so uh, okay let first let's start with the zero okay i'm not doing any any values here but if you if you want to better results or something you can go with 0.5 also okay and you can try okay now the next steps which you have to do is you come to the environment okay so here i have to give the extent so i don't want the, the larger extent i just only want this particular image as extent so i will just go to drop down and select the world imagery this one okay so that i just simply give as a uh, my extent okay so now if you want to run this process a little faster so obviously we need to change this processor types okay so i will select it as a gpu so it will be run little fast okay so that's all uh, the maximum cell size input if you want to do with the same with the image so you can select that also but i am not going to do it now as of now so i'll simply come here let's run and wait for the results okay so let's wait for the results so it's still going on let's wait for the results and uh, just one mistake we made so just i stop it uh, video and then i will just correct it that te text prompt which we just going to use it here that is car so that time i just did another tree so just correct it so let's run this results and let's see the output so let's run this and let's wait for the results then we will see now now you can see the results came okay so if you just see the compare the results it's it's quite interesting and uh, if you see uh, if i just switch off this you see most of uh, the cars it will pick up okay so most of the car it will pick up so it is a very good result so if you uh, ask me for uh, the giving marks so out of 10 uh i can give this out to 7 okay 7 is is kind of 70 percent accuracy we may it comes so you can count the total car and whatever the left divided by that okay and uh, multiply to 100 so that you can get a accuracy assessment of this particular how many cars is actually selected now the same process uh, we can try over the tree also so that we can get an idea so i will select uh, again this world imagery the model definition the same model you see that is the great advantage of the sam so we can use text to sam the same model okay and uh, let's give the prompt tree okay and uh, here in the environment we can change again this rear extent of this imagery which we downloaded okay fine now uh, i will select the gpu again and uh, let's uh, let's run the okay and uh, okay no this is what we need to do okay so let's run it and uh, wait for the results okay so i will simply click on the run so let's wait the results and then we will see how much uh, tree it can catch uh yes uh, now you see the results of the trees also it came but uh, you see this results okay so it can take the trees uh, only but uh, not the all trees it is taken properly okay even uh, the canopy size are differed so those uh, are not selected if in, if you see this is a large area of the trees which is not come so you can say this results which is come almost 60 to 65 percent you can say that is but in case of the car if you see the results uh, it will go with 70 seven to 80% 75% accuracy 7 to 80% accuracy you can say okay so over the car you see it is not pick up the buses but 
it is almost uh, selected all the cards only this is the patch where there is a <coughs> distances are little close so where there is not pick up, pick up properly so what we can do so here we can go with the maximum overlaps we can increase it and we can try so i hope we will get a better results so uh, if you consider uh, this is the tool the uh, you can say the tree which is basically i used here that is the text to sam so i hope this will be the very interesting to you okay so people who are working with the deep learning modules okay so you can try with this okay maybe in future we will directly get uh, prompt wise uh, uh, feature extraction or targeting or, or whatever we want we can do over the images i think so this is the way how the history is actually moving so that's all from my side i hope you like this video so if you like this video please uh, share with others and give your comments okay uh, i i will come with uh, the next with another exciting videos okay so only request please subscribe my channel so oh, this is nothing it will take to subscribe my channel so i am working hard for you all so i am getting a lot of comments around the world so i will try to solve uh, maximum of your problems thank you thank you very much